Shalom, family. Most high in Christ bless you all. All right. Happy Sabbath to those listening online. Most high in Christ bless you all. Ooh, oh, even when times get rough, Dad, I will be there. And even when the going gets tough, Dad, I will be there. When the world's turned against you, Dad, I will be there. Shalom, most high in Christ bless. This is Captain Lemuel, and this is 15 minutes with the. <laughs> Shalom, brothers and sisters. I'm Elder Ricard Shiar of the Gathered of Christ Church. All praises be to the Most High, Ahaya Bahashim Yeshaya Warawak, the God of Israel. I've sent me unto right. you. So when it said Yahweh there, like you just read, that in the English Bible it says the Lord God. That's what it says. The, type, the name translated the Lord God in the Hebrew is Yahweh. That's when he gave Moses his name. And the next part, the but Yemen is going to read, is going to tell you. Yeah, 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 Stop listening to these morons. Then said I unto the angel, What young person is it that crowneth them? What giveth them th and giveth them palms in their hands? So he answered and said unto me, it is the Son of God whom they have confessed in the world. Then began I greatly to com commend them that stood so, so stiffly for the name of the Lord. You see that? And commended them for those that stood so stiffly for the name of the Lord. What is it talking about that we stood stiffly for the name of the Lord? Reuben. Because a nigger will jump up and go, yeah, how about? Come on, man. Read it again. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of God Almighty. But by my name, Jehovah, was I not known to them. Now, depending on your form of Hebrew, you have some people pronounce it Yahweh. Another group pronounce it Yahuwah. We were taught Yahweh. We've never said that that was not what was given. We've never said that that was not what was given. We've never said that that was not what was given. Israelites to the Lord was special. Yo, pastor, he got the devil because he twists scriptures like a salty bristle. Fringed up and I'm looking fly. Border blue and caught your eye. All praises to the most high. You have a white, yeah, how a shot. All praises to the most high. You have a white, yeah, how a shot. All praises to the most high. You have a white, yeah, how a shot. You understand? To use the word, you how Sometimes when I pray and I use that word, you understand? I ain't, we ain't tell you all not to say you how are you how a shy. You know, because that's, I learned that from the elder when I, when he, you know, because he used to use that also. But we ain't telling you all don't say, it, you know, but what we saying, you can't make that a doctrine. You know, that's yeah. the point. That's the point. You all get it in your head. Don't make it a doctrine and say, if you don't say it this way, you ain't going to be saved. Come on, son. Yeah, it's, it's recording. God. All right, um. Before we get started with this lesson, we'd like to give all praises, glory, and honor to Yahweh. Yahweh. Ba'ashem. 
Bahashim. Yahawashai? Yahashim. Baharakakodash. Baharakakodash. And we'd like to give double honors to the elders and the apostles of GMS um, who rule well and teach well. And Shalom, my Barak to the elect of the nation of Israel. And my Hebrew name is Rakama Yama, and I'm with the brother. Yeshaya. Khan. And in this um, video or lesson, we want to get into how important the name of the Lord is, okay? And how important it is to call on the name of, of Yahweh and his son, Yahweh Shai. Um, and also, um, well, I want to mention, too, that if you call yourself an Israelite, you have to call on those names, okay? If you call yourself an Israelite, you cannot call on God and you cannot call on Jesus because those are not the names of the Heavenly Father and His Son. Here it is, you have a lot of Israelites that know they're Israelites, but don't call on the name, okay? It, um, they don't call on the name, such as IUIC. You have, um, uh, of course, Christians don't call on the name, all right? But you have a lot of Israelites that use like, 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 uh, uh, God and Jesus, or they'll say Christ. Every time they go into the scriptures, they say Christ this and Christ that. Okay? Now, when we're out there on the streets, here, let me put this on, do not disturb. When we're out there on the streets, we always want to um, um, say those names, all right? We might mention Christ as far as like reading it uh, verbatim. If somebody comes up, we'll probably read it word for word, but if if they want to know what the Lord's name or what the, the, the Lord's real name is and his son, we're going to give it to them. We're going to tell them it's Yahweh and Yahweh Shai and don't use Christ and don't call Jesus. Don't call, don't say Christos. You know, we'll, we'll, you have to call on those names and it's important to do that. Now, um, we know plantation Christianity doesn't call on, on those names. And we also know that um, the rest of the world doesn't call on those names. The, the Catholic Church doesn't call on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You got these gutter rats. They don't say Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. The scriptures say in Malachi, one of 14, that the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen, right? You have these uh, right. prosperity, um, these pastors that, that that have millions and millions of dollars, filthy rich pastors that don't call on, on Yahweh and Yahweh Shah, they call on God and Jesus, okay? Those right. are not the proper names. So we're going to get into those names, but first, we want to start with um, Acts chapter 4, verse 12. Yeah, this is going to be Acts chapter 4 and verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among, given among men, whereby we must be saved. Right, so there's no other name given um, under, um, read that again now. Come on, come on. Acts 4, verse 12. Neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men, whereby we must be saved. There is none other name under heaven whereby we must be saved, and right? We already know that salvation is for the Israelites, the blacks, Latinos, and natives. We know that already, right? We established that. Now, yeah. now everyone calls on God and Jesus, but um, you're not going, hey, Baba, Baba Kishak, could you uh, grab uh, Matthew 1 and 21? You can start yeah, at verse yeah. 20. We're not, we're not going to be delivered if, if, you're not going to be delivered, and we're not going to be delivered if we're not calling on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Those names yeah. are important. With those names come the doctrine, okay? With those names come come the prophecies. So everything is tied into those names. Okay? Everything is tied into those names. Uh, now, say that again. Uh, I said prayer. You know, we can't pray just to anyone. We got to know exactly. who we're asking, you know, who we're, we're calling upon. Exactly. I don't know who to praise. That, that's right. Our forefathers, King David, prayed to Yahweh. They, uh, Elijah prayed to Yahweh. The Apostle Paul prayed to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The Apostles in the New Testament all prayed to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. The Israelite foreigners prayed to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Not God and not Jesus. So, yeah. like the brother mentioned, prayer, everything is tied into that, to that, to those names. And we got to call on those names. Okay, Nate and Nate at one time he knew the name of of uh, he called on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. He he's breaking it down, but it got to a point that he received the the Judas purse, the Judas bag, and started calling on God and Jesus. Okay, now he's under a five hundred one c three 
It's uh, uh, 501c3. Um, and, and, and what? Now he's teaching the, the name of, of God and Jesus, which those are not the proper names, right? Because these Israelites, a lot of these Israelites have sold out. Okay, a lot of these Israelites sold out. You know, here it is. You got um Israelites that, that do call on Yahweh and Yahweh Shai, but the scriptures say what? That they should say, Lord, Lord, and Yahweh Shai should tell you, I never knew you. Depart from me, he workers of iniquity. Yeah. So those also, those names, I have to mention this too, that those names are pure. Okay, those names are pure. Everything we teach has to be pure. If those names are pure, everything we do has to be pure. The way we move has to be pure. How we pray, yeah. what we say has to be pure. Every Our motives have to be pure. Everything we do has to be pure. So no, there is no salvation if you're calling on God and if you're calling on Jesus. Because the Bible, when you look at the New uh, Testament, it was translated into the Greek language. Now we have all these other languages, right, that the Bible is translated in. But when you go back to the original text, it was written in a Paleo Hebrew, which is Yahweh and the Son of And we're going to get, we're going to grab that. We're going to grab that. But let's yeah. bring out Matthew 21 first. And I did want to mention that's the spirit. I had this showing on camera, the, the necklace, you know, the brother had, had sent all through the spirit. That's Yahweh at the top and the Paleo oh, yeah. Hebrew. And yep. towards the bottom, that's Yahweh Shai. And you read it from right to left, you know, and that's of course, right. here's the English Yahweh, well, Yahweh Shai. And of course, uh, English, you know, left to right. And of course, the, the top is the Heavenly Father. And at the bottom is Yahweh Shai. You know, uh, 1 Corinthians 11, I believe, goes into the chain of command. Which goes from the heavenly father to Yahweh Shai to Yahweh Shai to the to the men, and then from the men exactly. to the women. Exactly. So let's go that, ahead and uh, like, jump into uh, let's go for it. Huh? Come on, come on. Let's go ahead and uh, jump into Matthew chapter one and verse twenty, and it reads, "But while he thought on these things, behold, the angel of the Lord appeared unto him in a dream, saying, Joseph, thou son of David, fear not to take unto thee Mary thy wife." For that which is conceived in her is of the Holy Spirit. And she shall bring forth the son, and thou shalt call him Yahawashai, for he shall save his people from their sins. Now there, it says Jesus, right? In English, or it yeah. says Jesus. Verbatim. But, um, Babakashah, could you jump to Numbers chapter 13 and verse 16? Now yeah, there yeah. it says Jesus, but when you look at the original text, it's Yahawashai. Um, it's Yahawashai. So, He's, he's to save his people from their sins. And Yahweh Shai means he delivers or he saves. Okay. God, which, which book was that? Um, Numbers chapter 13 and verse 16. Numbers 13 and 16. God. Num uh, Numbers chapter 13, verse 16. Oh, and I want to and I want to mention this too, uh, uh, Salak, yeah, that the angel Gabriel gave Joseph that dream, right? Or God. vision. Now, what language is the language of the heavens? Let's grab, I got a precept out. Let me grab this one. But it's we'll the Hebrew. Let's bring that out. Bring that out. See, the, 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 you know, the, you know, the, oh, there it is. Acts chapter 26, verse 14. That's it. And we That's were all fallen. Con, con. And when we when we were all fallen into the earth, I heard a voice speaking unto me and saying in the Hebrew tongue, Saul, Saul, why persecutest thou me? It is hard for thee to kick against the pricks. And of course, we know this is Yahweh Shai. So he he heard the apostle Paul heard Yahweh Shai speak to him in the Hebrew tongue. Okay? Because Yahweh Shai himself speaks the paleo hebrew the apostle paul spoke the paleo hebrew so his name can never be jesus because the language of the heavens is the paleo hebrew not greek greek is a what you call a bastard tongue english is a bastard tongue a arabic is a bastard tongue okay the first language spoken was the paleo hebrew when you go into genesis the 11th chapter and starting at verse one adam spoke the paleo hebrew how do you, how, yeah. is he able to name all the animals 
the Abba God, the Hawaza Hata Yaka Lamanasa, I part of Zakwa Rashata. Okay, the characters Adam knew all the characters, he knew the Paleo Hebrew. Okay, spoke Hebrew, the Apostle Paul spoke the Paleo Hebrew. Obviously, he heard Yahweh Shai speak to him in the Paleo Hebrew, meaning he understood the Paleo Hebrew. Go on, and I'm trying to get it to focus in, but there's the Paleo Hebrew. Well, let's go ahead and get back to, to Numbers chapter 13, verse 16. And it reads, These are the names of the men which Moses sent to spy out to the land spy out the land. And Moses called Oshea, the son of Nun, Jehoshua. Okay, let's let's stop right there. That's the end of that verse. Now, when you look at into that word Hoshea, it's Hawashai. Hoshea. Hosh it's a Hawashai. So that was Joshua's the, before his name was changed. To Joshua by Moses, his name was Hawashai, which means in the Hebrew, which means deliverer. That's why when, when we go into the Paleo Hebrew prayer or the the the, the Adwan Palau or the Lord's Prayer, we say Hawashai Nawa. Hawashai deliver Nawa us. Hawashai Nawa. So Moses changed his name to um say that again. Not yeah, yeah, I might mispronounce it. Yahoshua, right? Uh, Jehoshua, come, come. Okay, now we know that there's no letter J's in the Hebrew. There's no O's, there's no E's, there's no U's in the Hebrew. So when you go back to the original text, go into the blue letter, it tells you Yahawashai, Yahawashai, which our Lord Yahawashai, our Savior Yahawashai has the same name as Joshua. They're not the same people, but they, they have the same name. Now, having the same names back in the ancient world were common. There was multiple uh uh how was yeah how was shies. There was multiple how was shies. You had a king by um Hoshea, the 19th or last king of the northern kingdom. His name was how was shy. When you translate it into the Hebrew, how was shy, which means deliverer. Now, when you put the yah in front of it, means he saves. Now, the brother read Matthew 1 and 21. Yeah, how was shy? Um, he's to save his people from their sins. He's so saved, meaning he yah. Saves the um, how was shy, yeah, how was shy. And when you go into um, when you go to um, a um, New Testament in uh, the Hebrew or, or the Assyrian Hebrew, they are the characters all sound like the Assyrian Hebrew, Paleo Hebrew. But when you go into the Assyrian Hebrew, that um, they tell you, Babakusha, matter of fact, um, let's do that right quick, let's yeah. let's let's go into um. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 8. Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 8. Babakusha. Come on. This is Hebrews chapter 4 and verse 8. For if Yahweh Shai had given them rest, then, then, yeah, yeah, for if Yahweh Shai had given them rest, then wouldn't he not afterward have spoken of another day? That right, and that's right. This talking about Joshua. It's not talking about Yahweh Shai, our uh, our deliverer. It's talking about Joshua during the time of uh, the the um, like the Canaanite when we went into that land and rid those Canaanites out of it, or the conquest of like Jericho and going against those Hamites. Now, when you go into that name in the New Testament, right? When I'm looking at it right now, the Hebrew in um New Testament in Hebrew. Um, let me get the, the book of Hebrews right quick. I could actually get this one too. Here, I got another one too. It's, it'll tell you pretty much like, like the same thing. This is Acts chapter 8 and verse 45. And having received it in their turn, our fathers brought it in with Joshua upon dispossessing the nations whom God broke out before our fathers until the time of David. <clears throat> now, right? You might not see it clear enough. But you might not see it clear enough, but I highlighted it. It's Yahweh Shai. So Esau and these devils know that our Lord's name is Yahweh Shai. But like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, the, that the name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathen, Malachi 1 and 14. That's why they don't call on Yahweh Shai. They're not going to call on Yahweh, the Heavenly Father. That's why they say Hashem. Don't they do that? They, they, they say Hashem. 
Okay, yeah. you question him on how it's in Bowers, you ask him, okay, what's the name of the Lord? What's his son's name? Or what's the name of God? They say Hashem or Hashem with, with an E, Shem with an E. Well, Hashem means the name, the name of who? In order to be identified and acquainted with a specific person, you have to know their names, right? God. You can't just say um, Hashem, the name of who? The Lord has an identity, just like his son has an identity. It's like you have an, an identification card. There's an identity. Be, there's an identity. God. Okay? The Lord has an identity and he has characteristics. So it's, what good is it saying Hashem, the name of who? You're not going to know who is, you're talking about. Who? Who? The name of who? Hashem, Hashem, Hashem. The name of who? Huh? God, I, I do got this precept. I'm going to grab this uh, second Corinthians chapter 11, uh, verse 3, but I'm going to read this in the New Living Translation. It reads, but I fear that somehow your pure and undivided devotion to Yahweh will be corrupted, just as Eve was deceived by the cunning ways of the serpent. You happily put up with whatever anyone tells you, even if they preach a different, you know, Jesus, Yahweh than yep. the one we preach, or a different kind of spirit than the one you receive, or a different yep. kind of gospel than the one you believe. You know, and I believe it's Hosea chapter two, where it goes into how Israel is like likened unto a harlot. You know, uh, our people have been tossed around, you know, to all these different doctrines, just as uh, it mentioned with Eve. You know, they were tossed. Uh, she was caught up with the ways of the serpent, which is today's time would be Esau. You know, that, yeah. that, that spirit that he carries, you know, he represents the, the sons of the wicked, a.k.a. And, that serpent. And, and I'm glad you brought that up. I'm glad you read that uh, that scripture because Esau, he's still deceiving Jacob. You know, the scriptures say that can a crooked thing be made straight? Esau can't be made straight. There'll still be yeah. the damn devil. He's still deceiving Jake. You got plantation of Christianity. They tell you that the names are God and Jesus. They tell you that. They're not going to okay. teach you. You're not going to find Edomites teach you about Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. It's impossible. You're not going to find that. Come on. They, hit you with the, they hit you with the famous, it'll, it doesn't matter. He has plenty of names. Or it doesn't matter what oh, name you call on. Yeah, they, that's what they say too. Oh, matter of fact, since you mentioned that out, you just um, made me think of this precept. Uh, Babaka Shah, could you grab Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 9? Yeah, right yeah. quick, since you mentioned that. Zechariah chapter 14 and verse 9. And it reads, And the Lord Yahweh shall be king over all the earth, and that day shall there be one Lord, Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai, and his name one. Two men. So, what this would be one Lord in that day, and that's talking about in the kingdom. That's talking about in the kingdom, but of course, we got the names now, right? Um, pursuant to Zephaniah 3 and 9, we can hold that on deck too. But the Lord in the kingdom, what his name is going to be Yahweh. All nations are going to bow down to that name, all nations are going to bow down to that name. Everybody's going to bow down to the name of, of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai in the kingdom. All nations, all Israelites, everybody's going to bow down to that name. When it's all said and done, everybody's going to bow down to those names because those are the pure names. That's the Paleo-Hebrew. God. Right? So the Lord has one name. The Lord doesn't have multiple names. And that's what Zechariah 14 and 9 is referring to and speaking about. The Lord having one name, not multiple names. Uh, when you go into um, um, the prayer of uh, Deuteronomy 6 and 4, the Shammai prayer, our Lord is one. Our Lord is one. He's the only God. He's the only power, the only living power. He's the one that governs the earth. He controls everything and it goes down, whether good or whether evil, right? There's no God beside him. You can't match Yahweh Shai or the Heavenly Father um, with another God. You can't. It's it's incompatible. It's it's no match. The Heavenly yeah. Father is supreme. That's why also in Revelation it talks about by him being the king of kings and lord of lords. When he comes to take down the, the heathens and Esau, he's going to be king of kings and lord of lords. You think, I, I dare one of these heathens call on God and Jesus in the kingdom. I dare one of them say that. <laughs> let's, let's see what happens if one of them say that in, in the kingdom. You're going to get that Okay, right. all right. Zeus, the northern kingdom, they call him a Zeus Christos. They call him Dios. Which Dios ain't even a name. It's a title. For, for God, it's just a title. They call him um, 
Just like Allah. Uh, Allah, exactly. You got the Muslims calling on Allah, which Allah is not even a name. It's a title, which simply means power. Allah. Or they say Elohim, Elohim. You can, you ask them, you can ask them what, what does it mean? What does Allah mean? And they just don't have no clue what's going on. They have no clue. But here it is, like, you got Israelites. The, the bad thing is about Israelites. They know they're Israelites and not calling on those names. That's bad. If you call yourself an Israelite, you got to call on those names. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You know, um, what precept we left off with? Um, I got another one. We left off. Um, we read uh, Zechariah. Okay, we accomplished. We went, okay, we broke that down. Uh, Matthew 1 and 21. And we went into Acts. Um, you read Acts. And I read, uh, um, right, Hebrews 8 and 44, I believe it was. Um, let's go into um, Baruch, Baruch chapter 2, and let's start at verse 30. Yeah. All right, so when you translate the name of, of um, Joshua into the, to the, to the Hebrew, it's Yahweh Shai. He has the same name as our Lord, Yahweh Shai. God, this is going to be Baruch chapter 2, verse 30, and it reads, For I knew that they would not hear me, because it is a stiff-necked people. But in the land of their captivities, they shall remember themselves. Right. And we're doing that now. We're doing that. We're remembering ourselves. We remember our power. Okay. We're remembering ourselves. The Lord has restored us. Okay. Uh, pursuant to Acts chapter 1. Also Ezekiel 37. He put that flesh and I, that, that identity. Um, all, um, he has given us um, our identity. Okay. Um. Right, because there was a time that that we discontinued from our heritage. That's why it says they shall remember themselves. Okay, yeah, now we I, remember who we are, and that's that's what's pissing a lot of these people off because, um, or or um, has these people stuck? People. Because when they hear us, hold on, let's just fucking noise noise pollution. When they hear us say how and Yahweh Shai, it pisses them off because they're so used to hearing God and Jesus that when you mention how and Yahweh Shai, they be like, "What that man? What the hell these guys talking about?" Oh, no. This is a oh. that's the spirit. I, I had just screenshotted this earlier. Let me go ahead and blow it up. This is a I just screenshotted that earlier. No intentions on that, you know, even thinking about. Bringing I can't, it out I can't really see it on my side. Maybe maybe the, the video uploads. Maybe you can see it on your side. Yeah, yeah, uh, uh, yeah. Lord willing, but this is it's just Baruch. It's the one we just went into. But I'm gonna go ahead and read the next two verses. Because it adds on to what, to what we're teaching. It says. Now we can finish on verse 32. Gone, gone. Yeah, exactly. Baruch 2, verse 31. And shall, and shall know that I am the Lord, their power. For I will give them in heart and ears to hear. And they shall praise me in the land of their captivity. And think upon my name. And See, that's exactly what the Lord has done. Right. He gave us a heart, which is our love, our minds. And ears to hear. See, the angels got to open up your understanding. They got to open up your mind in order to get this. But a lot of Israelites don't have sharp ears. Every time you mention Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, they say, that. how can that be his name? Because they're so used to um, uh, um, hearing the names of, of God and Jesus or Yeshua or these other false names that they, they, they reject the message completely. But this thing ain't given to all Israelites. All right, the scriptures say what? That the Lord's uh, sanctuary is a small one. The Lord is not dealing with everyone. So I just want to grab this right quick. Isaiah chapter 6 and verse 9. And he said, go and tell this people, hear ye indeed, but understand not. And see ye indeed, but perceive not. Make the heart of this people fat and make their ears dull. And make their ears heavy, right, dull. And, and shut their eyes, meaning their spiritual eyes, lest they see with their eyes and hear with their ears and understand with their heart and convert and be healed. So a lot of Israelites ain't going to get it. No matter how much you, you break this down to them, they're not going to get it. They're not going to get it. That's why they come up on the common boys. They start scoffing. Right? Exactly. I, that's the spirit. I was going to grab this one too, uh, you know, just quickly. Isaiah chapter 30, verse 8. Now go write it before them in a table and note it in a book that I may, it may be for the time to come forever and ever. And this is how you know it's the same rebellious, the children of disobedience, the same rebellious so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. It says, right. uh, verse 9, 
that this, that this is a rebellious people, lying children, children that will not hear the law of the Lord Yahweh, which say to the seers, see not, and to the prophets, prophesy not unto us right things, speak unto us smooth things, prophesy deceits. And then, you know, that's pretty much the point. I don't want to, you know, because it could go on, but, you know, that, I made the point. Done. That's exactly and what we're dealing with today. Yeah, not only those that don't know the names, but those that do know the names. Like like IUIC, um, the one precept says that they honor me with their lips, but the heart is far from me. You know, they honor me with their lips, but the heart is far from me. Yeah, yeah you're cutting out. Um, they honor you. Let me put the audio on me. Okay, God. At, at one time, they honor the names of Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Okay? But his mind is far, is far from the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai now. He's alienated. Right? You can't receive salvation if you don't have those names. Okay? Um, actually, I'll grab this. I got a few precepts to, to bring out, but I'll grab this one. You still there, Rock? Kind, kind of had to switch it. My connection's poor, but it's all good. We'll, we'll keep it going. God, this this is Proverbs chapter 18 and verse 10. The name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous runneth into it and is safe. So the name of the Lord is a strong tower. Because when you're on a watchtower or a tower, you're safe from all coming danger. Like, like you can look down. You, look, you can look for miles. Okay? You can see what's going on. You can see things uh, uh, ahead, okay? The evil, um, uh, the wise um, um, foresee the evil to come. Roughly, uh, paraphrase or quoting, the 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 wise can, can see the evil to come. And without those names, you ain't got no cover. And that's the point. You ain't got the cover. God, that's how can you call? Point yeah, how can you call yourself an Israelite and not call on those names? It doesn't. It, doesn't make no no damn sense. How the hell are you gonna call yourself Israelites? But meanwhile, not calling your how and your how was shy. You'll expect a Christian to do that. You'll expect these people out here in the world to do that. But for you calling yourself an Israelite and saying most high Christ blessed, that's what they say. That's what Nate and his and his uh, men say. Most high Christ blessed. Most high Christ blessed. Okay. Most high is a title, not a name. Christ is a title, not a name. Most high. Christ bless, and bless simply means uh um to well to bless the barakatha. That's okay, barak. They're not even calling on the names. They say Most High Christ bless. Those are not names. Most God. High and Christ are not names. Those are titles. You got it, Doc. Hey, y'all, you still there? Con, con, con. I'm going to, yeah, it's just this weak-ass Wi-Fi. Now, let me know if you're good, though. Can you hear me? Yeah. I can definitely hear you. Con, con. I'm still here, Rob. Um, You're holding anything or no? No, 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 go for it. I, uh, um, I'm just trying to make sure my connection. I'm trying to do what I can. Okay, God. This is Zephaniah chapter so 3 and verse. If you want, I can grab you some, Tanak. Um, yeah, Proverbs 30 and 4. This is Zephaniah chapter 3 and verse 9. For then will I turn to the people a pure language that they may all call upon the name of the Lord to serve him with one consent. Like I mentioned, we discontinue from our heritage, right? Pursuing a Jeremiah 17 and 4. Now, when we came here to the Americas on slave ships, you think um, plan, um, the, the, the slave master was call, uh, telling you that you're an Israelite or telling you that the names of the Lord were Yahweh and Yahweh Shai? No. They gave you Jesus and they gave you God, or they gave you E.A. Seuss, which is Greek. They gave you a Serapis. Right? They gave you a Greek and Roman deity. They gave you Egyptian gods. They gave you false gods. Okay, so for you to, to uh, 
for you to call yourself an Israelite, like I mentioned, you got you have to call on your how and your how shot. There's no way around. You can't get around that. That's the only way to the Heavenly Father is through his son, Yahweh Shai. The only way to the Heavenly Father is through his son, Yahweh Shai. Not through Christianity, not through a prosperity doctrine. Right? So, right, and we're speaking a pure language, which is the La Swan Kodash. We're speaking a pure language. Right? So, and that's right, right to the point. All right, pure means what? Holy. Kwadash, we're speaking that holy tongue. Unlike a lot of these Israelite camps, I, I truthfully, I get vexed when I hear him say, um, Most High Christ bless or, or Jesus Christ. We don't even like saying that shit. We don't like saying that. Sometimes when you break down a scripture, you might have to just say that, then explain yourself afterwards. Okay, this is why we said it. Right, but here in America was the place that Israelites didn't know we were Israelites, but yeah. the most restored to us, the, you know, gave us those names back. We had those names in the ancient world. You think the 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 brothers, the the apostles in the New Testament were calling on Jesus? No, they were calling on Yahweh Shai. You think the apostle Paul was calling on Jesus? No, he was calling on Yahweh Shai. You think Stephen called on Jesus? No, he called on Yahweh Shai. You think yeah, Peter yeah. called Jesus? He called him Yahweh Shai. I got this precept to back you up, Ak. You got it. Psalms 20, verse 7. Some trust in chariots and some in horses, but we will remember the name of the Lord Yahweh, our power. And I wanted to quickly grab that word remember. It's in the Hebrew Zakhar. And it says, yep. uh, to be remembered, be thought of, be brought to mind. And that's exactly what's happening. Like the brother mentioned, you know, this is uh, this isn't nothing new. You know, like the scriptures say, there's nothing new under the sun. So <laughs> the name of the Lord has been here. It just was taken away from us for a brief moment, you know. But the Lord has showed mercy on His people, Israel. Yeah, I I got one for you too, Wak. Go on, go on, go for it. Uh, Psalm seventy-two and verse seventeen. His name shall endure forever. His name shall endure forever. Malachi 3 and 6 says the name of the Lord doesn't change or the Lord don't change. The, yeah, the, it says the name of uh, the, the Lord don't change. And also when you read Hebrews, the 13th uh, chapter in uh, verse 8, it says that Yahweh Shai's name don't change or he don't change. So the Heavenly Father can't change and Yahweh Shai can't change. His name shall endure forever. So you got to remember, too, throughout time, you have uh, you had a lot of uh, translations of the Bible, right, in different languages. But when you yeah. go to the original to its original text, it's always going to be Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. It's not going to change. And it says here, his name shall be continued as long as the sun is not the <laughs> sun still shining. God. And men shall be blessed in him. All nations shall call him blessed. Blessed be the Lord Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai, the powers of Israel, who only doeth wondrous things. And blessed be his glorious name forever. And let the whole earth be filled with his glory. The water to up a month. You had you had mentioned Malachi chapter three. Right. And there's verse 16. I have it right here. It reads, Then they that feared the Lord Yahweh spake often one to another, and Yahweh hearkened and heard it. And a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared Yahweh and that thought upon his name. Of course, yep. we know uh, in today's times, this is the scriptures and the elect. The elect are going to be uh, remembering, you know, as uh, Syrac says, you know, uh, uh, the birds resort unto their own as truth res returns unto those who practice in her. Yeah. Hey, Lord willing, we may be of those men, but we know the elect, they are, uh, they do have the true name. Which we confidently say is Yahweh, and then of course the only, his only begotten son, Yahweh Shai. Right. But leave it up to these Christians, man. They're gonna keep calling on God and Jesus. Oh yeah, no matter how many facts you pull, these people are just uh they're stuck, they're stiff necked. You know, the Israelites, you know, they're they're dumb dogs. You know, Isaiah, I believe one in three. <laughs> you know, yeah. they don't know they don't know their own people, their own uh, master. Yeah, and um a lot of a lot of Jakes are waking up. 
So waking up to the fact that the name of the Lord and his son is Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. You're going to have Jake that are going to be asleep until the nuclear missiles drop. That's the way the Most High set this thing up. It's not for everybody. Daniel chapter 12 says, none of the wicked shall understand. They're not going to understand. What good is it trying to explain to somebody? Just it don't, it, If it doesn't resonate with you or register with you, what good is it trying to break it down to them? Well, the name of the Lord is this. The name of the Lord is that. They're not going to understand. Okay, so we already broke down the name of, of Yahweh Shai, right? But let's bring out a few precepts before we go into the name of the Heavenly Father. Con, con. I do got oh. this one to back you up, Ock. This okay, is uh, Revelation 19, verse 10. And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not. I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren, and have the testimony of Yahawashai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahawashai is the spirit of prophecy. Yep. And that's exactly how you know these Christians, they ain't prophesying. So they don't got the spirit of, of, of who they want to call Jesus. That's right. You know, it's Yahawashai. And then the spirit of prophecy is with the, the men that go out and teach, you know, uh, that's have the same doctrine uh, as great millstone right um another precept too amos three and seven that the lord will do nothing but he revealeth his secrets <laughs> his secret unto his servant the prophets that name is hid from the rest of the world that's why when you read actually i gotta back you up right uh before i forget God. um john chapter 17 and verse for i'll start at verse five and now, O Father, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thee before the world was. I have manifested thy name unto the men which thou gavest me out of the world. Thine they were, and thou gavest them me, and they have kept thy word. So we have the word, right? Yeah. Hey, the kingdom abides within us, and we also have the name. But I want to go. A quick Google, matter of fact, let's, let's, let's go to the blue light. I want to see that word for manifest. Strong's G, 5319. Fanirao. Fanirao. Fanirao, to make manifest or, or visible or known what has been hidden. There you go. He revealed wow. his service unto his service, the prophets or unknown to manifest whether by words or deeds or in any other way to make known by teaching to become manifest exposed to view to be plainly recognized hey that name is going to come back in a big way it's going to be recognized worldwide okay um one of the lord's title is alasaja which means terrible like power, demon like power, Alasaja. Okay? The Lord got one name, but he has many titles. And that name, when we left Egypt, we went through the uh, Suez Canal. When we left Egypt, that name was known by, by the heathens. They known the Heavenly Father. They knew him as a terrible like power. They knew him as a terrible like power. God. That name always known. The, uh, the okay? testament of Abraham. As as exactly, exactly. I, nah, say what you gonna say, y'all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The the, the whole uh, situation with, with, with Rahab, you know that that was a Canaanite woman who, uh, you know, of course she's not being dealt with by the Lord, but she the Lord spared her. You know, her and her family for taking care of the Israelites, the Israelite right. spies that were sent out by Joshua. Yep. Yeah, so his brother is one hundred percent correct. Yeah, they they knew they knew the heavenly father as um Alasaja. Of course they can't call on that name, but they knew that name um or that title when we came out of Egypt. But Israelites were calling on Yahweh Abraham. When you go to what's that yeah. Genesis, he built an altar to the heavenly father. Isaac knew the name, Jacob knew the name. Uh the apostle Paul knew those names. Yahweh and Yahweh Shai. Joshua knew the name. Moses knew the name. Aaron knew the name. So that name is only manifested to a select few. It's not manifested to the whole world. It's not given to everybody. Yeah. This, this is a mystery. This, you can, no matter how many times you stress this and you break down these scriptures, 
These people are not going to understand. They're not going to get it. None of the wicked shall understand. It's not given to them. It's not given to them. You can't force yourself to know the names. You can't. Those names have to be given to you. Those names have to. Yeah, the Heavenly Father and Yahweh Shai have to deal with you. They have to deal with you. And plus, where do you learn those names? You get them what? Your teachers. Okay, the Lord set up teachers to, to give us those names. And that's why we always start off um, the, the um, whether camp or whether videos or lessons, we start off with call halalim laya how bashim how shai basham harakakwadash. We start off by saying those names. You see? You got it, I God, God. Which which one was it? You wanted me to grab? Um, did I have you hold something? Nah, nah. I got Exodus six and three. If you want me to grab that, we're getting into Yahweh, right? Okay, no, we're gonna get into the Heavenly Father. Um, um, but let's grab um one more precept, Doc. God, God. Um, before we start um getting into the name of the Heavenly Father, uh, Proverbs thirty four. That was the one. God, God. Oh yeah, yeah. Wrong time. <clears throat> this is gonna be Proverbs chapter. Chapter 30 and verse 4. It reads, Who hath ascended up into heaven or descended? Who hath gathered the wind in his fist? Who hath bound the waters in a garment? Who hath established all the ends of the earth? What is his name? And what is his son's name? If thou right. canst tell. That's a question for you people out there. What's the Lord's name and what's his son's name if thou canst tell? Notice why we 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 ask these fake Jews, what's the Lord's name? What's what's his son's name? Hey, I, they don't I know. do want to mention too. If people still don't got it by now, you know, this far in the video, the same for them. You know, they they should click off. Click <laughs> off. A, you know, exactly. Yeah, click off. Go 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 pluck a guitar <laughs> string or something. Go go. You know what I'm saying? Go do something. That's saying, but these God. people ain't gonna. To them, it's like yeah. idle words. Like, what the hell? Are you? I, don't, I don't want to hear them Israelites. Look, man, we know who we are now. We're the Israelites. Okay? We had to go through all these different captivities. And what, to get to this point now, and, and the Most High preserved his name. He preserved exactly. his, his name and his son's name for us to, to call on them. That's how you pray. You don't pray to God and Jesus. The Most High is not going to hear your prayer. You don't pray to God and Jesus. It's not going to be answered. I can guarantee you that right now. You know what they say? Well, God, God gave me $10 million when I prayed to God in Jesus. No, that oh, was yeah, Satan. Yeah. That was spiritual demon Satan. The they, deceived and the deceiver are his. Exactly. And then uh, as well as the scriptures mentioned, you know, uh, Yahweh Shai's sheep hear his voice. You know, yep. that's, how, that's, that's one faith booster. You know, if you're able to click and you're not offended, you're able to understand the message, then hey, the Lord may be dealing with you and, and continue to run with that. Yep. Well, let's that's, go ahead that's, and, uh, that's, you want to, do you need to bring anything else out? out? Yeah, Psalm 16 and 4, right quick. Go on, go on. Psalms chapter 16. And let's grab verse 4. And it reads Their sorrows shall be multiplied that hath, hasten after another God. Their drink offerings of blood will I not offer, nor take up their names into my lips. They, so there you go. Their sorrows will be uh, multiplied, they hasten after another God. Okay, what does it mean to be hasty? Hey, wait, let's, I'm going to look that up. What does it mean to be hasty? Con, con. Uh, and I even see it here in the NLT. It says, uh, troubles multiply for those who chase after other gods. Gee. So, <laughs> calling on God and Jesus, well, your sorrow is going to be multiplied. Calling on Allah, your sorrow is going to be multiplied. Calling on Isis, Horus, Seti, your sorrow is going to be multiplied. Calling on science, that goes for you too, <laughs> you science believers. You know, that, yep. you know, not to say that the Lord didn't set that up, but hey, these people, in hey, Psalms 14 and 1, the full say, let me grab that since I'm two books away. It reads, uh, Psalms 14, verse 1. The fool had said in his heart, there is no God. <laughs> they are corrupt. They have done abominable works. There is none that doeth good. 
Hey, yeah, it's that's funny. It's like I was looking up this word hasty, right? Or hasten. Yeah. It means to um to prepare quickly, do quickly, bring quickly. So here it is. This, oh, I gotta go pray to this guy right here. Like they do it fast, like a lot of days. Look, this people are bugged out. I, these people will be quick to bat out to a false god. They can't save them, right? Like you got that's like true. these um uh, like the northern kingdom, especially the northern kingdom. Fine, They'll fine. go. Like they they quick to go after their gods. They're quick to say, "Oh, your god doesn't doesn't exist. Exactly. My god, Jesus Christos, it's my god. My me me Dios, it's me Dios. Salvação, Dios Cristo vai salvar me." You know they start speaking all this crazy random stuff out their damn mouth. Scripture tell you their sorrows will be multiplied and hasten after another god. So the Christian church is in trouble. A lot exactly. of these Israelites. Yeah. There's this. Uh, this Nate, is. hold on, now. Nate. Nate is in trouble. He's calling after another god. He's calling after another god. Um, um. Oh, Babakusha. One more precept, Doc Salak. Uh, you you gonna say something? You gonna say something, right? Khan, Khan. I, I was just gonna mention. Yeah, no, that's a good point. You mentioned about how these people are quick to call on another god. Because that's like literally the mindset of uh, your, your, your so-called Christians. You know, a lot of them uh, don't don't really uh, believe in a God. They claim they're Christians or whatever, you know, uh, uh, but they turn around and they're quick to call upon false names when that, that, that sudden destruction comes, you know, yep. which will, will happen on a bigger, a bigger scale here very soon. But these yep. people, even if they're not religious, they'll be quick to bow down and call upon a, a Jesus, a, a, a God, a just which is a title. You know, that's right. just the mindset of these people. They just, they don't believe until something physically happens. And that's why, hey, we're thankful that we go through what we go through because it, it is a, a tough walk. You know, this isn't no cakewalk. This isn't no, huh. hey, you know, come to this and everything's good. We don't, we don't prophesy those smooth things like it mentioned in Isaiah. You know, we're giving it to you straight. You know, the Lord has blessed us to, to be able to speak and take it like men. Right. That's right, Doc. And, and, uh, now, IOC claims they, they, they keep the laws, right? They, they follow the laws. Now, let's grab Deuteronomy 18 and verse 20. They claim they follow the laws. Okay, well, we're going to grab a scripture in the law that they should have read. Which I doubt they do God, that. This, <laughs> God, this is Deuteronomy chapter 18, verse 20. But the prophet which shall presume to speak a word in my name which I have not commanded him to speak. Don't they call him false prophets? Gone, gone. You got it up. Gone. Or that shall speak in the name of other gods, even that prophet shall die. So, quick, quick point. <laughs> according to the Bible, if you call on another god, you're going to die. They claim they follow the laws. Well, that's the law right there. That's the commandment. They have broken that commandment. Most high Christ, exactly. Christ, 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 Christ. All this, oh my goodness, man. It's, it's vexing, man. It vexes the hell out of us. Like, oh no. That's a good point, out because we could put it in this perspective. If you get two audio clips from a, a, a so-called Christian and a, a, a IUIC member, and you, you chuck it to where they're talking about Christ, if an individual Googles Christ, what image is going to pop up? Who yeah. Is Who does exactly. this world think of? What comes white to mind? Meat. White meat. Exactly. White meat Jesus. So, Self-proclaimed whiteies. That's right. Yep. Oh, yeah. they, they, they're not pure. They're far from it. Because we understand, you know, that's the only reason they took on that title of white. That's right. Uh, um, anything you want to bring up? Uh, you want to jump into the to the Yahweh? Yeah, let's go to Exodus chapter 3, and let's start at verse uh, 14, and we can read down to verse 15. Got it. Let's go ahead and get that. Exodus chapter 3, and verse 14, it reads, And the Most High said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am had sent me upon, unto you. And the Most High said moreover unto Moses, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, a key word, Israel, the Lord Yahweh 
power of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob had sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Oh, man. So he said, furthermore, he said, um, furthermore, did, uh, read that again. Uh, come on, come on. Let's find that. I believe it goes on right here. And the Most High said, moreover, unto Moses. Thus that, shalt thou say, con, con, and thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, Yahweh, the Most High of your fathers. Right, it said more over, meaning continually, continually, because I am that I am, in the Hebrew, is a, a shar, a higher, a shar, a higher. I am that I am, but that's not his name. Okay, that's not his name. Now the name is. Okay, and God said more over unto Moses, meaning continually, wait up, I still got something to say. Thou shalt, thou, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, the Lord God of your fathers, the power of Abraham, the power of Isaac, and the power of Jacob have sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all generations. Now, when you look into that name or the, uh, the word L-O-R-D, it's Yahweh. Yahweh. Anytime you see L O R D in caps, it's Yahweh, which Yahweh means he exists or to be. Yahweh. Yahweh. He exists or to be. Right? So the name wow. of not Jehovah because there's no letter J's in a, in a Hebrew. Right? I believe we mentioned that earlier in the video that the letter J was created in 1524. Okay, it was yeah. popularized around the 1600s, but there's no letter J's in the Hebrew. There's no O's. There's no U's. There's no, no V's. Now, you got the Jehovah Witnesses. They call on Jehovah. They say Jehovah. John, now, these people are obsessed with, you know, that, that folly. So, clearly, the Lord told um. Told you what his name is. Right? It's it's not it's not I am. I am is not a name. I am can mean like to, to come to pass exist, but that's not his name. Yahweh is his name. Yahweh, which means he exists. That's the Lord's name. Okay, and we got to remember too, the Lord was uh, speaking about himself. Like he is, like he is. But furthermore, this is my name for a memorial. Yeah. Like the Lord, there's a scripture that says that the Lord cannot swear by any greater. He, he don't swear by any greater. Like he is who he says he is, but his name is Yahweh. And you can find the, the Heavenly Father's name written over 6,000 times in the Bible. The Heavenly Father's name is also found in the New Testament. A lot of people yeah. don't even know that. It's found in the New Testament. Under under the Greek word Kyrios, Kyrios. Yep. Um, let's go into um Exodus six and three. Come. This is going to be Exodus chapter six, verse three, and it reads, "And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob." By the name of the most, the, the, by the name of power almighty, which is Allah Shadia, but by my name Yahweh, was I not known to them? Right. At, at one point, like Abraham, he heard about the flood. He heard about how the Lord devastated the old world. Okay. He was known as a terrible like power back then, way before Egypt. Okay. So our forefathers knew that title, but the Most High um, gave. That name to the um our forefathers. Okay, when you go into that word um the um, known um I don't I don't I can't find it. I got a I got the book somewhere, but it's um not known. Read that again. I I know known is but read that again. I I'm gonna look this up. Yeah, I'm kind of uh, reread uh Exodus six and three. Yeah. Fine. This is Exodus chapter 6, verse 3. And I appeared unto Abraham, unto Isaac, and unto Jacob by the name of power almighty, Allah Shadia, but by my name, Yahweh, wrong, 
which was wrongly translated as Jehovah, was yep. not known to them. Right. That word known is you die. You die. Okay. But the you know the Ben Yahudi's dictionary is Nawaida Aithia, which means not uh, which means like well known. Well known, Nawaida Aithia. Okay, but that word is um you die over here to know. Well, they knew the heavenly father as as al -Asaja, but not by it wasn't well known, meaning it, it wasn't well known among everyone at that time. It was only amongst a specific circle. It was yeah. amongst the uh, that, that name was known. Yeah, how was known like now. Everybody don't got the name, we got the name. It's known to us, but it's not known to everybody else. Not all, not only that, we know al Asaja, the title of al Asaja, and we know the name of Yahweh and his son Yahweh Shai. So we got the complete package now. But Abraham knew the name of the Lord. Some people will read that scripture and say, no, Abraham didn't know the name of the Lord. Okay, so I'll read this. Let me read this. This is um, Genesis chapter 13 and verse... Four. Unt Let's start at verse uh, two. And Abraham was very rich in cattle and silver and in gold. And he went on his journeys from the south, even to Bethel, unto the place where his tent had been at the beginning between Bethel and, and Ha'ai, unto the place of the altar, <clears throat> so like, whoa, unto the place of the altar, which he had made there at the first. And there Abraham called on the name of the Lord, capital L-O-R-D. So Abraham knew the name of the Lord. Now, now if you, uh, Baba Kusha, could you grab uh, Genesis chapter 4 and verse 26? God. All this our forefathers knew the name of the Lord that, that, that the Lord was dealing with. They knew his name. This is Genesis chapter 4, verse 26. And to Seth, to him also there was there was born a son, and he called his name Enos. Then began men to call upon the name of Yahweh. Uh-oh. Man, you're talking about that's prior to the flood now. That's that's prior to the flood. So Abraham came way after that time. So Enos. Or the sons of God called on the name of the Lord. So that name has always been around. D didn't we read in Psalms the name of the Lord endures forever? God. It's not going nowhere. It endures forever. Now, of course, there was a time that we were um blocked from receiving that name. I'm talking about the sons of God, the children of God, which everybody can't be the, the sons of God or the children of God. Right? But there was a time that the Lord blocked us from receiving and, and, and having those names. But here we are now calling on those names. Enos, all right, which is one of our forefathers, knew the name of the Lord. And that, that was the point. That's straight to the point. And capital L-O-R-D is Yahweh, which means he exists. I mean, we, we me and a brother right now, we could go and, and, and uh, grab every single definition, but the, the thing is, with a lot of you people that listen to these videos, you're going to have to put in some work. You're going to have to go and study. We can't grab every single scripture and 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 break down every little nook and crown. Like, it's just too much to bring out. But we're br bringing these things out for, for the edification to build you brothers up. For those that tune yeah. into these videos, we can't gotcha. go into the, the blue letter every single time and go into... Well, this means that. That means that. Sometimes we might mention it and not give like a, a more thorough breakdown to it because it's too much to get into. And I hope you out there can understand that. Exactly. To, to back the brother up, you know, the scriptures call us to be uh, hot, you know, not to be lukewarm, you know, because we're, we're, this is just to feed the sheep. You know, this this sharpens up ourselves, you know, first and foremost, you know, but but this is to, you know, further drive brothers to, to grow. You know, because that's all that's all brothers are uploading for, you know, to, to constantly feed the sheep as Yahweh Shai had commanded us to. You know, these Christians, you know, they, they have bug outs like that dude. Uh, I seen the comments, his name's Mike. But if you look up a guy that breakdances yelling out the name of Jesus, 
You know, that's not doing anything. You know, these people are Christ. all fascinated. You know, <laughs> yeah, exactly. The brother knows. You know, we were speaking on this. You know, pre uh, previous, but uh, you know, this just shows you these people are have no idea what's going on. You know, the scriptures say Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. What type of prophecy is that doing? You know, what type of what is he doing by screaming and dancing? You know, <laughs> that's just a bug out. You know, these people are, are demons, and that's why the world was so quick to accept them. Because you see comments saying, oh, I wanted to laugh at him, but I'm starting to realize what he's saying and blah, blah, blah. They try to make every, they try to make the most stupid shit deep. You know, these people are going to drown if they, they hear a video like this. You know, your brother's out teaching. They'll, they'll drown. You know, they, they'll, they'll, they don't want to hear it. Because this is too much for them. That's why, that's how you know, the, you know like the scriptures say, how wish I taught? My sheep hear my voice. So, you know, we can only have faith and continue on our faith by continuing to call upon the true names and further edifying ourselves. And, and, and uh, of course, the of course the sheep as well. The, you know the brotherhood. Yeah, and um, when you're speaking, also when you're speaking about God and Jesus, a lot of people receive you. Exactly. They say, um, because God and Jesus are all about peace. To to the Christians, God and Jesus False balance cannot do no wrong. They cannot they cannot cause evil, which they're highly mistaken. When you read like they, verse like like Matthew ten to thirty four. Yahweh Shai came to bring the vision. When you read uh, scriptures like Isaiah 45 and 7, that yeah. the Lord is good and evil, that the Lord kills and he makes alive. You know, so a lot of these people don't know what's going on. And a lot of these Christians, a lot of people speak well of them. They accept them. When it comes to us, though, when they hear us bringing out this message, they say, you know what, though? These guys are crazy. They demonize them. <laughs> So yeah. I got a precept to bring out this Luke chapter 6 and verse 26. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you, for so did their fathers to the false prophets. Now you got people demonizing us, calling us rapists. They know we don't do that, but they still would demonize you knowing that you don't commit those acts, but they'll still demonize you. These people exactly, ain't right. yeah. they're not in the right spirit. They're not in the right mind. They're completely out of order. And then, yeah, that's why they believe in that false balance. You know, this is going to be a, a point I want to get. Exodus 15, yeah, verse not. 3. The Lord Yahweh is a man of war. The Lord Yahweh is his name. You now, these people don't know <laughs> Yahweh. What they know is God and Jesus. They don't know Yahweh, what Yahweh shy. So they, they, they just have no idea. They don't know what they worship, you know, as it's mentioned in Acts. Yeah, good point. Uh, the, the scriptures say, for you know not what you worship, for salvation is of the Jews. You know, like I was shot, broke down in, um, what's that, John 4, with the Samaritan woman? God. It's um, Amos 3 and 6. Shall a trumpet be blown in the city, and the people not be afraid? Shall there be evil in a city, and the Lord hath not done it? And there's a question mark there because why the Lord creates evil. So if something bad it's happened. If you see a Russia bomb the hell out of Ukraine, that's the Lord causing that. Right? World War Three is gonna be caused by the Heavenly Father. All right, if you, you if you see like Jace getting into a commotion, fighting each other, that's the Lord doing all that. Exactly. The love of many waxing cold. And I do want yeah. to, Salaki, I do want to correct myself. The brother was right in, in John 4 and 22. That's where it mentions, you know not what you, ye worship, ye know not what. You know, so it wasn't Acts. Just wanted to correct myself real quick. Now, it's all good. Uh, the scriptures also say, too, in that, in, that, in that chapter, John 4, that the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth. Now, in order yeah. to worship the Father in, the, in your house, in spirit and in truth, you have to have, have what you call what they call the what the Bible calls the comforter, the rechakwadash. If you don't have the rechakwadash, you're not gonna break down the scriptures. It ain't gonna happen. You're not gonna be in the spirit. You're not gonna go out there on the streets. You're not gonna be doing sit down. You're not exactly. gonna be reading. Right. You're not gonna be praying. You're not gonna be fasting. You're gonna be lost. You know that's what the scriptures right. told us. We, we were the lost sheep. You know, us as a you know as a as a the body of uh you know the the body you know the body of Israel. Or the house of Israel, we were all once lost, you know, but that's why we got to hold on to this until the end because 
you know, it's one thing to hit record and, and be a brother, but it's about, you know, getting, making it until the end. That's right. Um, uh, what about the shot? Could you, um, if you don't got nothing, could you grab Exodus chapter 20? Gone, gone. I got you up. Read to like verse, from verse one through like verse four. Gone. And I, yeah, I wanted to mention, because that's what that Christianity gives you. They give you that, that quick win. Oh, you're saved already. You're saved, you know, keep coming, you know, come on Sundays, come on Sundays, you know, give me your money, give me your money. They ain't trying to tell you, hey, it's about making it until the end. This is a, a longevity. This isn't the, the broad way, you know, to destruction. God. But this is a Exodus chapter 20, verse one. And it reads, and the most high spake all these words saying, I am Yahweh thy power, which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Hold on, that's 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 straight to the point. That's the verse I wanted. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. Now hold on. That's the first commandment. Do you think Christians really follow the first commandment? They say the laws are done away with, don't they? So obviously they're not gonna follow the first commandment if they say the laws are done away with. They that thou shalt have all yeah. God before him. So now here it is. You got these images of Cesare Borgia, these Renaissance, um, these Renaissance paintings. You got images of of the finger of God touching Adam's finger. I don't know if you've seen that one. And God, God. Two, um, two Edomites touching each other's fingers. You have um all these Renaissance paintings. You got Michelangelo paintings. Leonardo, the, the whatever his name is, Leonardo da Vinci, I believe his name, one, one of those people, whatever his name is. But all these people from Italy, these Edomites from Italy, they painted multiple pictures of false images of false gods that people to this day worship and reverence. Yeah. Well, now when you show them an image of a, 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 of a, a so-called black messiah, a dark-skinned man, it becomes a problem. It becomes a problem. All right. When we exactly. have the streets and you see brothers with the uh, Yahweh Shai, uh, the, the, the picture of Yahweh Shai or the sign of Yahweh Shai, we're not worshiping that image. We're just telling you how you would look or how he looks according to the Bible. That's exactly. all we're doing. We're not telling you to go bow down to this image. We're telling you how he looks and how he looked 2,000 years ago according to the Bible. That's all we're doing. Oh, you guys worship idols. No, we're not. We're not worshiping idols. We're telling you how he looks. And you can say it a million times till you, till you turn blue in the face, and they'll still say the same thing. After they done heard you say, we don't worship the image. Oh, why y'all got that image out there, idol? Didn't you just hear me just fucking tell you that? That we don't worship the idol? These people are sick. Looney, loony, loony, man. God, they stumble. They stumble because yeah. they know they don't, they don't have the message. They don't got the spirit on them. I got, I got one for you. Come on, come on. But, but before you grab that, I, I do have one to back you up since we read Exodus. This is uh, Jeremiah 23, verse 7. Therefore, behold, the days come, saith Yahweh, that they shall no more say, Yahweh liveth, which brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. And here's the point. But Yahweh liveth, which brought up and which led the seed of the house of Israel out of the north country. And from all the countries, whither I had driven them, and they shall dwell in their own land. Now, this hasn't happened yet. You nope. know, so that's how that, that's that prophecy. Con. But Christians don't believe in prophecy, Yacht. Exactly. That's why you mentioned exactly. Revelation 19 and 10. Christians don't believe in prophecy. They don't have that, that the, the secrets revealed unto them. No, it's, it's not for them. It's not for exactly. them. Exactly. Because even when it's revealed, like you said, they, they stumble on things like, well, why do you got that image there? Since you're coming at our image, we're going to come after this image. That's how that's the mindset of these people. They're simple. Hey, you know what they do too, Ak? Every time, say you got an Israelite group out there, even Israelites that are not teaching 100% truth are out there, you'll have like a Christian walk by and um and interrupt, really interrupt them by preaching like, Right next to them with a blowhorn, with a with a yeah. um, 
what they call that the the horn the 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 loudspeaker with the like the loudspeaker and deliver like the, do and the scriptures tell you to do things decently and in order. These Christians, all for the love of Jesus Christ, is is is, is you know is they'll do anything just to defend um, white supremacy because that image of Jesus Christ is part of white supremacy. God, people don't realize that that image has caused a lot of people to be put to death. That image has 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 um. No, in the image of Jesus Christ ain't the mark of the beast for for those that want to know, <laughs> right? But that yeah. image has caused a lot of people to err, right? Go on. Christians, and the brother had mentioned. Right. They, they try, try to speak over you. And they're always going to the writings of Paul, right? They'll always go into the, like, the writings of Paul. They'll stay away from like Revelation where all the nations have to go into captivity. They'll never mention that. How about Revelation 2? Could you read that for me? Um, um, no, I'm reading this one now. The <laughs> law is done away for everyone that believes. That's not what it's talking about. That's not what it's talking about. And these people, they don't they don't believe in the Bible, right? Um, I just want to bring this out real quick. This Matthew yes, chapter 22 and verse 29. Yeah, how was Shai answered and said unto them? Ye do err not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of God. And a lot of people don't know the scriptures. They don't go into reincarnation, the resurrection. What's going to ha happen during the resurrection? Us being beamed up in those chariots. Do Christians bring out the chariots? <laughs> exactly. They still, they still take the chariots. Aliens. Exactly. They're not going to bring out the chariots. Like the scripture that says the new Jerusalem that comes down. They don't know what that's talking about. They don't know what that's talking about. The new Jerusalem that, 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 come, that come up down. Right? Us in that first resurrection or us, um, um, you know, we always try putting the world back in order. Having these Edomites build up our kingdom. We're going to use them to bring, build our kingdom. They don't bring that out. You know, exactly. It's that. It's that. It's that uh, got some, will hold on. Let's explain. Pass by. I mean, fly by. Pass by. I yeah. wanted to mention now. It's that do without wilt spirit that's pushed. Yeah, the Alex, Alex the Crowley spirit. Yeah, Satan is spirit. Yeah, that's what it is. That's what it is. And you mentioned Satan. What? Satan means adversary. Adversary, yeah. adverse. And a lot of these people are adversaries to what the message that that we bring out. He that, nope. that, that he that is not with me is against me. Exactly. I wish I said it best. Like you got a lot of these Christians that that say um the uh they're gonna be caught up in a rapture. Then after they get caught up, there's gonna be <laughs> seven years of tribulation. Please find that in the Bible for me. Exactly. They talk about a pre a pre rapture, then a post, then a post. Um um. Tribulation, the post-tribulation period after the rapture. No, we know that when we get beamed up, when we get beamed up, these Edomites, when we come back down, okay, we're going to have these Edomites in chains after we get beamed up. Okay, Babaka Shah, matter of fact, could you grab Acts chapter, um, we're going to wrap it up in a bit. We, we already proved the point. Acts yeah, chapter yeah. 1, I believe it's like verse 6 and 7. And you can read to like from verse 6 through like 8. God, and that was Acts chapter 1? Yeah. God, and this is going to be Acts chapter 1, uh, beginning with verse 6, and it reads, When they were therefore, when they therefore were come to, together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, wilt thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? But he's and doing he that. Says, God, God. The Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai is doing now. Yahweh Yahweh Shai is doing now. They're doing that now. But by what gave giving us um the names, they gave us the names, the doctrine, the mysteries, the secrets, and um, but really the restoration of the kingdom is going to be when all Israelites are, are right in a right mind when we get the kingdom forever and ever and ever. And it ties in with like Daniel, the second chapter, and uh various precepts, various precepts. God, God. Jumping back to Acts 1, verse 7, it says, And he said unto them, 
it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father has put in his own power. Right. That, that's, through the that's, scriptures. Go for it. Right. So when we get beamed, matter of fact, could you jump down to like verse verse 9 and, and 11? Verse 9 through 11. So when we get beamed up, when we get beamed up, we're going to be coming back down. Okay, first of all, you can't go into the chariots with these defiled bodies, these fleshly bodies. Okay, we're going to have what you call celestial bodies, heavenly bodies. We're going to get beamed up in the chariots and we're going to come back down to rule forevermore. Now, ask a Christian, how did their Jesus Christ go back to heaven? Read that out. You got it. Go on, go on. Acts chapter... 1 verse 9 and it reads and when he had spoken these things while they beheld he was taken up you know beheld means to look yep. he was taken up and a cloud received him out of their sight and while they looked steadfastly toward heaven as he went up behold two men stood by them in white apparel which right. also said ye men of Galilee why stand ye gazing up into heaven this same Yahweh Shai, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall come, shall so come in like manner as ye have seen him go into heaven. Come on, man. But <laughs> now when you, when, when the scriptures just mention a cloud, hold on. Now, I believe it mentioned a cloud, right? No, yeah, yeah, that's what it mentioned, Doc. Caught up in a cloud. So Christians don't break down that that cloud is a chariot. Okay, Ezekiel 1, when you, I believe that's Ezekiel chapter 1. It talks about a wheel within a wheel within a wheel. That's the chariots. And a chariots could also be a, a, a fire could represent a chariot. Clouds could represent a chariot. Wheels could represent a chariot. Uh, so many things could represent a chariot. All right, it doesn't come to mind, but I mentioned like three, but, but they don't talk about the chariots because Christians don't know start going into prophecy they're like road runner rock Choom! they're out of there they're that's like the, true, the road runner i'm out of here that's what they hold on let this shit go by it's a damn thing you inside your own house and you gotta hear these things fly over overhead <laughs> but um the airport right down the street but um you like you said though i, I want to back you up a quick little uh, testimony you know on my behalf you know for a newer brother a younger brother you know, don't don't try to mess with these so-called Christians. You know, I have a, a so-called uh, in-law, you know, you know, an in-law and he he's heavy on that Christian. You know, these people, they they go through a little trouble in life and they start calling upon, you know, their 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 false gods. Anyways, I was going into the, the, the chariot stuff and he asked me, why does it matter? You know, that was a mistake on me for trying to, you know, shed some light on the scriptures for him. But that's how these people are. They they ask you why does it matter, you know? Because they don't they don't want to see Yahweh Shai return, you know. In his eyes, Jesus. That's not what they're teaching. They're not teaching a a, a saving. What they're teaching is that feel good shit, you know. They got too much sugar in their tank, you know. They they they're, they're fruity, you know. These are the type of individuals that paint their nails. That's right, Doc. That's right. You no, know? <laughs> they they're, they're weird. But I did want to point out as well. In their tank, huh? too many starbursts. <laughs> exactly. Taste, taste is, the uh, rain. Uh, Skittle, skittle. Exactly. Taste they smile, enjoy. They, hey, who cares who that if that man sleeps with another man? You know, we gotta love each other. That's the that's the shit they teach. They don't believe in you know, they don't believe that. How wish I was perfect according to the law. They just they don't know what the hell they believe. <laughs> but this is uh, if you go into that word cloud and that in Acts, uh, Acts chapter one, that word cloud, it says uh, nephele, nephele, which is in the Greek. And it says, used of the cloud which led the Israelites in the wilderness. And that was the chariot. There you go. A cloud by day and fire by night. That was the chariots. Exactly. And, and but that's that's not important, right? Who cares? But to them it ain't important because they don't go in a, they don't go into prophecy. Of course it ain't gonna be important to them. Because they don't care. They don't believe in the Bible. Exactly. It's just, but like, like you see, like people like Vocab Malone and a lot of these people out here, they're not the thing. What they're trying to accomplish is can't really do nothing against us or before us. But what they're trying to accomplish is just to frustrate us. That's all they're trying to do, just to, to wear us out and piss us off. That's what they're doing. 
because they can't challenge us. Okay, if they do challenge us, they're not gonna win. Everything that they bring out, we could easily destroy them with because they don't know the Bible. They don't know it. Yeah, yeah, that's just to put people back to sleep. They don't, they don't really care. You know, they, they just that's their whole purpose is to be that adversary, as you mentioned earlier. That's it, exactly, and that's how we know we're still in captivity. Because they don't want us to know who we are. They want us to be captives forever. They want us to, to really feel miserable and keep paying bills and keep calling on God and Jesus. They want us to do that. All right. They don't want us to know who we are. They don't want us to have an identity. Here it is. Every nation can have an identity, but we can't. And that's one way you can prove that we're the Israelites, that we are those biblical people. Because everybody can call themselves Jews. They could, but when we say we're Christians, we're the real Christians, it becomes a problem. God. Oh, you're not a Christian. Ask them, okay, I'm not a Christian. What does Christian mean? Uh, blah, 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 blah. They start, they start <laughs> breaking dancing. They don't know what the hell it, they're about to say. They, they just start trying to speak all over you, try to get all emotional, try to call you evil. I just ask you a simple question. What is Uh, 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 just have a good day, man. Get out of here. You know, we can easily go into the scriptures and break with the uh, break down with the word Christian. Amashiach yum, Christians, plural. Okay, which means a follower of what? The anointed, of the, a follower of Yahweh Shai, followers of Yahweh Shai. But these Christians, and you know what thing they'll do too? Say we're, we're like, they'll like go on a lot of these videos that brothers make and get little by little, and see what we talk about, then try to counterattack us. That's a bitch yeah. move. Then they try to create their own platform. I remember watching the Edomite group. I forgot the name of the group. A few years back, they actually were saying Yahweh Shai in a congregation to try to fit them being the people because these Edomites know they're not the people, but they were actually saying like Yahweh Shai, but they didn't even say it the right way. Right, because the Lord ain't dealing with them. The scriptures <laughs> some other way is the same as a thief and a robber. The Lord ain't dealing with them, right? Because these heathens, they want to be us. They want to be like us. They listen to everything we say, and and they go home and practice. They, they they're literally going to mirror and practice. <laughs> God, how about Shimmy? Okay, let me say that right. Like, literally go home and practice to try to be us. These fucking Edomites is done, man. This this has to be in you. This is our, this, th that blood has to be in you. Okay, that spirit has to be in you in order to identify with this book. You can't just call yourself an Israelite. Okay, so um, we brought out a, a, a bit of information and, uh, and yeah. I pray brothers were edified and um, you, you Akim and you Akwath out there i pray you were edified or for those that tune in um keep on watching these videos right keep on watching these videos study show yourself approved stop calling on god and jesus those names will not deliver you if you call exactly. yourself like stop if you call yourself an israelite or israelite stop calling on god and jesus stop calling on jehovah stop calling on yeshua stop calling on yahweh Stop calling on jobs. <laughs> Call on Yahweh and Yahweh shine. You want your answers prayer? Uh, your, 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 <laughs> I said it backwards. You want your <laughs> prayers answered? Call on Yahweh and Yahweh shine. Okay, so with that, um, anything um, else you want to bring out? Ak? No, no, the, you know, the brother made the point. You know, so yeah, yeah, it's Yahweh and Yahweh shine. Okay, um, with that, we like to give all praises. Glory and honor to Yahweh. Yahweh. Bahasham. Bahasham. Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai. Bahasham. Bahasham. Wahara Kapodash. Wahara Kapodash. And Shalom. Shalom.